And hello, good evening once again from Portugal and we are in Stubal. It's the Eurovision Live Concert 2011 and next to me is the singer that represented Finland at the Eurovision Song Contest in 2004 in Istanbul. It's Yari. You say your name better. Silambe. Hello, nice hello. to meet you. Nice, yeah, you too. How, how are you enjoying Portugal? How, how, what have you been seeing today? Oh, uh, I like Portugal. Um, first of all, very uh, fantastic weather. But uh, today we went to the guided tour up in the mountains. And it was a nice, <laughs> nice to see uh, the beach and everything from above. And, and then we went to this cement factory, which was a very uh, strange uh, 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 pick to show all of us. But it was very interesting and the guide there was very... He was a professor of, uh, of a school and uh, he worked for, for this company, cement factory. And uh, it was very, very funny. He was, he was very funny and kept up the good mood. And, uh, Indeed, and when yeah. he, he, he talked about this company, uh, and the company actually is, is behind us. We have a, 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 a yeah, banner. Yeah, yeah. It's Sekil, and this is the this one, one of the sponsors of this event here. Yeah, it was very. Uh, it was nice to hear that they 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 do a lot for in in environmental protection things. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah protections as well, and uh, in the area because it's a national park. So so uh, this uh, I don't know the word in English, but but. Uh, they get more and more animals and they uh, preserve the, the nature very well. Nature park indeed. Yeah. Yari, you went to the Eurovision Song Contest in 2004 in uh, uh, Istanbul. Yeah. Uh, what are your memories from back then? Um, memories. I, we had a ball. We had a fantastic time. We were there one and a half to two weeks and uh, it was very nice. First, we, we thought that, uh, oh, what, what shall it be, it's in Turkey, and, and can they handle the television thing and everything, but it was fantastic, it was very good, professionally uh, done, all the, all the festival and uh, all the rehearsals. Uh, the only thing I, I didn't like was uh, during the rehearsals, everything was so... Um, of course, I, I know when the, you, you have 24 countries and 24 artists uh, entering stage, you have to you, you have to be very hard and uh, to, that you can follow the schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was not so it was not so friendly. Too, you know, uh, you know, we were all like waiting in line and uh, okay, next Finland, one minute, and it was very. <laughs> Uh, military, basically. Very military, yeah. and uh, and that was, well, yeah, you can cope with it, but but it, it's not nice. Uh, but the rest, fantastic. They they held uh, very nice parties for us. And, uh, How did you cope to be the ambassador for Finland in, in uh, Istanbul? I we tried to do the whole delegation from Finland. We tried to do the best uh, best of it, and. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think uh, that that I was an ambassador in, for Finland, or I don't know. But uh, for my song, I think we tried to to uh, make as good as we we can. Okay, Yari, uh, what happened after the Eurovision uh, performance in uh, Istanbul? You, you went back to Finland, of course, and you, with the music career. How did you continue there? Yeah, I continue to uh, with my music uh, in the same style. Uh, made concerts and uh, records. I've, after that, I probably have had uh, five, four or five records out, and a new one is coming now in uh, one month. Tell us more about that. There is a new, a new uh, CD, a new album coming out of yours? Yes, and, and it's very near my old uh, old ty uh, style of music. The last two CDs I've done, uh, it's um, theme CDs. I, I made um, film music. Uh, in uh, We went to London and we uh, recorded with the Philharmonia or Orchestra uh, at Abbey Road. And it's a very nice album but it was not at all successful in Finland uh, because the radios don't like, I think, 
they don't like to play too much uh, uh, big orchestras. Okay. Uh, it, it sounds perhaps too fancy, or I don't know. And there are old songs. There are old songs from the classical movies, and uh, so uh, it was not a hit. We 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 sold a lot in my concerts, but uh, not in the shops, or it was not played on the radio so much. And before that, I w I made uh, a Latin Latin music tour with a Cuban uh, Cuban Finnish orchestra, mm -hmm. and we had a huge tour and uh, made a live CD and that was very fun but now I'm I'm how do you say going back to my roots and, and making this uh, Finnish uh, Finnish type of uh, soft pop, pop music and uh, with uh, which I started uh, many years ago so, so I'm, I'm very excited because I like the songs very much and fantastic it takes to the tango is a tango song well, it's not a tango, but we wanted to. <coughs> we wanted to uh, uh, make make it sound a little bit like tango. Uh, it's more like a disco tango, or and uh, I made the lyrics myself. And I wanted something Finland and tango and this this stuff. I wanted to put them together and make a song song of it, but even if. It's not. It's not a real tango, but. But is it is it true that uh, actually Argentina is not the only country of tango? It's also Finland, is it? Yeah, Finland is uh, very, I think, known for its uh, for its tango since well, 50s, 60s, it was big mm -hmm. in Finland, but in the 70s it died out totally. Mm -hmm. And again in 85 there were two businessmen who uh, came up with the idea of uh, uh, to bring up a new festival. Mm -hmm. They thought, what, 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 uh, what is uh, a new thing, a uh, new festival? And they said, ah, tango, tango, it hasn't been played in Finland for years. So they came up with this idea and they started this tango festival uh, in which they hold a singing competition every year. And uh, which I won in '95. Wow! And uh, from from there I started my uh, music career. Have you always wanted to go to take part at the Eurovision <coughs> Song Contest for your country? Oh, since I was a little uh, little child. But uh, since I'm I, I was uh, born and raised in Sweden, so um, I was thinking as a child. I was thinking because my parents are Finnish. So. When I lived there in Sweden, I, I thought that oh, it would be nice to be in, in the Eurovision to win for Finland, uh, because Finland was always so bad in, in the Eurovision. And, and, and to Marion Rung and uh, Lodi, of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. And uh, but uh, so I had this idea in, when I was small, but I haven't won yet, so I have to participate again, I guess. So will you, actually, what was my next question, would you come back to the Eurovision and do it one more time? Whenever, yeah, I, I will, yeah. If, if I feel that uh, the song is good and uh, I believe in the song, uh, then of course, yeah, I like, I like the, the, the show very much. And uh, of course, it, it, it's not as important uh, anymore in the music business, in the, in the, in the big scene. But uh, but the show is fantastic, and uh, it would be very shameful if it, would, if it uh, would not be there mm. once a year because yeah. I like it very much. Uh, everything in Finland it's it's not so so popular. Uh, in Sweden it's fantastic to to go there and see how everyone they are like wow it's party. And, uh, I, li I like the, the Melody Festival. Basically. Melody Festival, uh, yes, yes. yes. I go there as well every year. It's, it's really a fantastic thing to do. Yeah, with. and you can feel it. When I I went once to the final in uh, Globen in Stockholm, and uh, and it started all when I went from the hotel and uh, jumped into the taxi, and the taxi driver was also very, yeah, are you going to the? Uh, yeah. yeah, so you can feel. You can feel it's happening something big in the in the city. So, but in Finland it's not so so popular yet. 
Well, in 2004 you came to, to the Eurovision, but did you attempt it previously to, uh, to go, go to uh, represent your country at Eurovision? Pardon? In 2004 you, you sang for Finland, you got the ticket to go to uh, Istanbul, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but did you previously sing, uh, to try to get the ticket? Yes, 98. And I'm going to sing that song uh, as well this uh, tonight. It was the year of uh, Idea and Ava in Birmingham. Yep. And uh, I I came second that year in Finland with uh, this song. It was. And I'm, I'm tried afterwards uh, after uh, takes two to tango uh, in 2004, three years, two, three years ago, but uh, it, it didn't uh, succeed. You, you mentioned Melody Festival. And would you actually be let's say okay, let's uh, not sing for Finland, let's go for Sweden? Would you do that? Yeah. If, if uh, I would be invited, why not? Do, do, do you write songs yourself? <coughs> Sometimes I do, yes. Okay, and uh, it, uh, are you a full-time musician? I, I mean, or you have another job, you, you do mu music part-time and then part-time the other job? Uh, well, I, I am a full-time musician, but uh, lately I have been interested in uh, wind power. Okay, the big, so. big... Uh, um, Things that turn around, yeah. Yeah, the big fans. Yeah, in Finland, uh, it's going to develop very much the coming 10, 15 years. So I uh, made a new company that is going to uh, produce wind power. But I, I'm still, I'm still an artist, singer. Okay. But uh, this is on the side. Where you, where you, put yeah. your spare time to it. Yeah, yeah. Have you actually any favorite Finnish Eurovision song? Uh, you, I think you said it already. Uh, Marion Rung and Tom Tom Tom. Oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah, it's a very nice song. I yeah. like it. I, it. Because it reminds me of my childhood. And, uh, yeah. And internationally, you have a, a song that, that you say from, from Eurovision. Uh, that is my all-time favorite. Which one? Uh, no, no, you, you have a Eurovision song from the... Uh, Apart from being the Finnish song. Oh yes, uh, all these uh, Luxembourg, Luxembourg and uh, uh, French songs, uh, Marie Miriam, uh, Lois Enfant, and uh, what was the Luxembourg song? The um, Corinna Mess was that, that one? Yes, Si la vie est un Yeah, yeah, Si la vie est un and uh, from from Spain, eres tu. Oh, Masadares. <laughs> yeah, I like big ballads. Hello, Aya. By the way, this is actually Aya's favorite Eurovision song, and she requests this all the time on our radio show. Which and one? Aya, eres tu. Ah, really? And Aya, actually, she is Finnish as well. You think it's Sweden? <laughs> is she? Yes. Yes. Finnish. She's Finnish and lives in Sweden. No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can pass a, pass a greeting to her, if you don't mind. To Eja? To Eja Rantanen. Eja Rantanen? Ah, but I thought <laughs> you were talking about the singer. No, well, that, no, that, no, that no, is no. uh, Mosadaris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a joke, yeah. Joo, Eja Rantaselle, paljon terveisiä sinne vaan. Jari, one more, one more question I have, and of course this is to do with the monsters of Finland. That uh, uh, Lordy, Lordy yeah. have you ever seen them without masks? No, I haven't. Honestly, I would, yeah, no, 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 I haven't. Uh, they, uh, nobody has, I think. Um, it's their style. They, don't, they don't want to, to uh, be this good, this guy, and, and yeah. to be seen in, in the re real faces. Yari, thank you very much. We hope to thank see you. you again at the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, I hope. Either to be for there. Sweden or for Finland. Yeah, and it was be a pleasure. Or to Germany. Come. Oh, Germany, do it. Yes. The auditions are starting very, very soon it's for Unser Schlaf in Baku. It's easy. Invite me and I will come. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very much for, for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.